What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the color of the notification badges on iOS 12 through iOS 12.1.2. So this is a nice little way to customize your device and make it stand out from the rest and this isn't something that everybody's gonna be able to do either, especially since you have to be on a specific firmware. Now, as of the time of recording this, this does work on all devices except for the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6. The voucher swap exploit does not support the iPhone 5S or the iPhone 6. So unless there's some kind of other work put into this tweak, it's probably not going to support those devices. But I will keep you guys posted if an update does come out where the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 are supported. So keep an eye on the description below because I will update you guys down there if and when there is added support for those devices. So yeah, it's awesome that this does also to work on the 2018 iPhones like the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and the iPhone 10R. So this little tweak that I'm going to be showing you today is made possible because of Brandon Azad's recent iOS 12.1.2 exploit. And this is also made by the developer of TornGAD. If you guys remember that from last year, basically it was able to customize your device without the need of a jailbreak. Now TornGAD itself will also be coming for iOS 12, but it isn't ready just yet. Now of course I will make a video when it does get released, but as of right now, the exploits are still so new, everything's still so new that we do not have a working torn gat just yet. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and show you how to change the color of your badges. All right, so first things first, we are going to go to ignition.fun. They're actually hosting this application right now. I'm sure Tweakbox is as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and install the app install and once it does install we're going to go over to our settings general profiles and device management go to the china one right here and trust it then we're going to go into the application we're going to click the second tab down here so you get to this page right here we're going to go to utilities and then we're going to scroll down until you see torngat badges so it should be near the bottom right now of course you can search it up at the top if you want as well but as of right now it's right down here torngat badges click get install and then you will see this white icon on your screen right there go ahead and click on it to open it up and this is when it's actually going to run the exploit on your device again i am running the iphone 10 right here on ios 12.1 and i have heard people report that the application crashes it makes their device reboot and things like that and it doesn't always work on the first try but i will say that it has worked a hundred percent of the time 100 percent success rate over 15 times opening it here on my iphone 10 on 12.1 so it's pretty reliable at least for me but again just keep in mind if it does doesn't work the first try just keep on trying it as long as you have a supported device all right so you can see the ui is very very simple so all we have to do is put in the hex code for the color that we want our badges to be and then we can adjust the opacity as well we can also make them transparent or switch it back to default if we want now an easy way to get the hex code is to go to the link i have down in the description below this is the site i use for it right here it's called colorhexa.com makes it very very simple this is what the home screen looks like right here and if you just click in the search right here click the little plus this is where you can go all around the color wheel and just kind of pick whatever color you want you can adjust it down here so maybe if you want like a blue maybe like a royal blue let's go up to here you can do that and then all you have to do is copy that code right there go back in to badges click where it says hex code right there and then just paste that and you can see it actually adjusts in real time with the hex color so you can see it's blue up there we're going to change the opacity so it's a, maybe a little bit darker maybe like right there then we're going to click on dismiss keyboard change respring it's going to respring our device and then when we come back we should have whatever color you put there as our badge color so i'm just go ahead and unlock my device and you can see there we have a blue badge right there on settings i don't know if i have any others there we go on my fitness pal as well and you can also see that it's not 100 percent opaque either because you can kind of see through it and see onto the application which is awesome i think it's a must to do that oh and i didn't even realize that my mail down here shows it a big blue badge so you can see how it looks looks really cool again just a really minor but really cool way to customize your device on ios 12 before the actual ios 12 jailbreak gets released all right so let's go back into the application and like I said you can revert this back to default if you want to I know some people have asked about that very simple and it doesn't stick I know before with Houdini and Torgat last year sometimes some things would stick and you know you wouldn't even be able to change it even after you went back to default but it does work every time here on iOS 12 and if you want to see what the transparent looks like if we go and click on that and then go ahead and respring our device transparent actually looks pretty cool it's not really my style but it is still pretty cool you can see there it's just kind of invisible 
It's very uh, minimal. It would go with some backgrounds and maybe some themes when a jailbreak comes out, but it doesn't look the greatest as of right now on stock iOS. But yeah, anyways, guys, there you have it. That is just a quick tutorial on how to change the badge color for your notification badges on iOS 12 through 12.1.2. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more tutorials and jailbreak videos just like this one. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.